Hello and welcome to VOD log number 2. In this episode, uh, I'm going to repair my AVR ISP Mark II. This is a programmer slash emulator from Atmel. I damaged this unit when I was working on a project by accidentally applying a plus 12 volts to one of its pins. And I believe the, the problem is this chip right here from which the magic smoke escape. It is a boost converter from Texas Instruments. And right now when I connect the unit uh, via USB, I uh, trigger the current protection on the USB port. So uh, I can only imagine this chip is uh, somehow shorted. Now I searched the internet for info and schematics on this programmer. And from what I could find, that chip is the TPS61020 boost converter from Texas Instruments and uh, you went ahead and uh, purchased a replacement from Element 14. This chip comes in a very small package, it's just 3 by 3 millimeters in a QFN style package and I'm gonna have to use uh, hot air to desolder the chip and resolder the new one and hopefully this will fix my uh, program. To get the chip out I'm going to use the hot air Rework tool, I'm going to apply heat. Hopefully it will start soon start to move. So I can pick it up. Sometimes you can see the solder just melting and you know it the chip it's ready to be lifted. And it's done. Now I noticed this board is soldered with lead free solder which means a higher melting point and that's not really helping when trying to uh, repair something like this so what I like to do is uh, clean the solder off the pads and apply some uh, leaded solder that will help me later when uh, resoldering the chip. I have some flux applied to the pads I'm gonna use the solder wick and my soldering iron to clean these pads. You need to be really careful because these are very fine pitch pads and you don't want to accidentally rip this, these tracks from the PCB. I'm just gonna increase the temperature a bit. The technique is to drag alongside the pads not against their direction I'm gonna take the new chip out of its uh, static shielding bag You see chips from uh, reputable distributors come with these uh, humidity indicators and mine is obviously good. The next step is to apply some flux on the chip itself and thin its pads. I'm gonna use leaded solder for this. You don't have to get it perfectly aligned, the reflow process will help it uh, self-align, but you do need to get it roughly positioned over the pads. Now the chip is back on the board, I'm going to apply heat and let it reflow. Now I think we're done and the chip is nicely soldered. On the board. Let me mount the macro lens and check that.
Now all we have to do is test the programmer I just repaired. For that I'm going to connect it to my computer and hopefully it will work. And success! It is detected by the computer and uh, the LEDs light up. I'll uh, test the programming features of camera. I also have planned an upgrade for uh, this Mark II programmer because the ISP cable that originally comes with the programmer is only about 15 centimeters long and that's a bit short for, for my programming needs so I decided to uh, make my own ISP cable, 6-pin cable which is uh, 1 meter long and for that I purchased 1 meter long of this ribbon cable with 6 pins and uh, these IDC connectors which are also 6 pins and uh, I'm going to use my uh, crimping tool for making this cable the technique for doing this is quite simple for example the connectors I'm using do have a pin 1 marker so I'm going to align that with the red cable just like that so you do wanna uh, keep in mind the fact that this will get crimped and it will bend like this 180 degrees so consider that when uh, deciding which way you want the cable to go so that is fine for me you wanna make sure you don't run your wires too far out on the other side just enough to make contact and it's done now what you want to do is add the safety clip first I'm going to bend the cable just like that and add the safety clip which will secure the cable that's one end of the cable and we'll do the other one Now I'm going to install the programmer back in its original case. I'm going to install the cable I just made. And we're set, ready to go programming.